Bottoms up. Here's the short number four. Oh! God. That is disgusting. Hey, Ben Angel here, author of the internationally best-selling book, Unstoppable, a 90-day plan to biohack your mind and body for success. And in this video, I'm going to show you how alcohol to peak performers is like kryptonite to your brain. I'm also going to share with you at the end of this video how this glass of black sludge right here can help reverse the negative effects and if one to two drinks per day is really healthy for you. Now, before we dive straight in, it's pretty important to note that I'm a super lightweight. I'm lucky to have one glass of wine a month, so this could be an absolute shit show. Now, <laughs> as the shot enters my stomach, only 10% of the alcohol is absorbed and then the rest goes into my bloodstream to be processed through the liver. Only 15 ml of alcohol per hour can be processed through the liver at a time before issues begin to arise. That's only half an ounce of alcohol and most cocktails consist of 2.25 ounces or 66.54 ml. Factors such as how fast or slow your metabolism is, how much you've eaten beforehand, if you've built up a resistance to alcohol and how rested you are all influences its effects. So why is a little dog Mitch in the shot right now? Well, this little bugger last night woke up at 4 a.m. due to a huge Florida thunderstorm. To say that I got much sleep is an understatement. Do you want a drink, Mitch? Mitch, do you want a drink? Drinking less than half a glass of alcohol an hour is enough to suppress the functions of the frontal lobes, which control your inhibition, self-control, willpower, ability to judge and concentrate. For some people, they feel more jovial, but it can wreak havoc if your inhibitions make you the laughing stock and enough to work function. Here's cheers. The alcohol is now reaching the parietal lobes at the sides and on the top of my head. Now when your blood alcohol level is 0 0.10 grams to 100 ml, typically after two to three drinks an hour, your motor skills are gonna be impaired. Your, spe your speech may be slurred, but funnily enough, you won't even seem to notice. Complicated movements such as buttoning your shirt, fastening the necklace, or talking are likely to become more challenging and you may experience a slight tremble. Here's to shot number three. Ugh. Now, when the alcohol reaches the back of your head and the occipital lobe, your blood alcohol level will be about 0.15 grams to 100 ml. By this time, you've had four to five drinks or two to three doubles in an hour. Your intoxication level is becoming dangerous even if you may not think so. Your vision is deteriorating, it's becoming increasingly difficult to judge movement and distance and your peripheral vision decreases. This is when things start to get serious. Bottoms up, here's the shot number four. God. When your alcohol level reaches 0.2, when your alcohol level reaches 0 0.20 grams to 100 ml, that's after four to six drinks or three doubles in an hour, the alcohol wave is starting to crash over your cerebellum. Your balance will be severely affected and you'll have trouble standing. Hopefully you're lying down by this point so you can sleep off the backlash of the booze. Your blood alcohol level is in the region of 0.25 grams to 100 ml. And your midbrain has become affected. You're paralytic, jittery and nauseous and your reflexes are severely impaired. If you're lucky, if you're lucky you've managed to turn onto your stomach because if you're lying down on your back in this condition you may end up choking on your own vomit. Super sexy, right? By this time, you may have lost consciousness so you may not care. Since your brain will be hit with a vengeance. It's now a matter of life and death. If the alcohol reaches the medulla oblongata, the part of your brain controlling breathing and blood circulation, you are screwed. So is it true that it's healthy to drink one to two drinks per night? Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but the answer is a resounding no. No amount, no, no amount of alcohol is safe. 
According to the Global Burden of Diseases study, which analysed levels of alcohol use and its health effects in 195 countries from 1990 to 2016, they're now the most hated people on the planet. Studies that have shown one to two drinks per night are healthy have been shown to be misleading, unfortunately. So how does this all affect your productivity and ability to perform? Well, put simply, you're not gonna get much done if you're dead because drinking increases your likelihood of dying. What do you do if you do want to enjoy an English? So what do you, <laughs> So what do you do if you do want to enjoy an occasional glass of wine or you overdo the booze like I'm doing right now here for your benefit? Well there are two options. The first, activated charcoal. Activated charcoal can assist by binding itself to the toxins that are then excreted by the body. Activated charcoal has been used for years in emergency treatment rooms for certain kinds of poisoning, including alcohol. It does come with a caveat, because alcohol gets absorbed pretty quickly into the bloodstream. You must consume activated charcoal before or during your drinking session. I don't know what's worse, vodka or activated charcoal, let's see. It tastes like dirt. It's important to know, furthermore, <laughs> did you know that trace amounts of glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, a company that everyone now loves, which is a weed killer, are showing up in wine and beer. And according to a new study from the US Public Research Group, USPIRG, that's not to mention other unlabeled additives that could impact your brain health, activated charcoal may assist, and I'm hoping it does, in binding to these toxins so they can be excreted hot, <laughs> instead of absorbed into your body. So how can beverage companies get away with this shit? Well, winemakers are not required to list their ingredients on the label, which means a bottle of wine, even expensive, highly rated shit, can contain up to 76 allowed additives. Well, by hacking the topic of my new book, Unstoppable, and you better go out and grab it right now, is finding itself into the mainstream, and now our wine industry. Dry farm wines are tackling the issue of additives and wine with excessive amounts of alcohol in them. I sat down with Todd White while I wasn't inebriated, who is the founder of Dry Farm Wines at the Upgrade Labs Biohacking Conference and Beverly Hills to learn more. I tested some of their wines and I gotta say I was pretty surprised because normally after two glasses I'm feeling pretty tipsy. I drank over half a bottle of this particular white wine and I gotta say that I didn't wake up feeling hangover the next day. I was a little bit tipsy but it was a it was a really good drink. As for how I'm going to feel tomorrow after this ridiculous experiment drinking four shots of vodka when I really haven't had any alcohol in quite a while is to be unseen by you at least. Now, if you'd love to learn more about the other experiments that I conducted on my mission to becoming unstoppable and you'd love to have more energy, increase your focus, and boost your productivity, head over to areyouunstoppable.com to find out which identity success type you are based on your biochemistry, also your psychology. And be sure to hit like because I think I deserve it. And make sure you also subscribe, subscribe and share. And I'll catch you in next week's episode, hopefully. Take care. Where's my garlic bread?